hi guys welcome to my channel hope you're doing well so gemini this reading will be for you if you have gemini as your sun moon venus rising north node or if you're dealing with a gemini all right guys please take the messages that resonate leave the rest okay these are general readings so some messages may apply some won't okay may resonate may not that's absolutely fine okay if you'd like a personal reading all the information is in the description box below all right guys so let's get into your reading Let's get into your reading, Gemini. What's going on for Gemini's today? What's happening for Gemini's? Gem Gemini's nearly at 10,000. Nearly there. All right. If you haven't already, guys, please like, share, subscribe. Definitely subscribe if you haven't done already. Like what you're waiting for. Seriously. All right. Let's get into it, guys. What is going on with Gemini's? Please tell me what is going on for Gemini's. Nine of Pentacles, Two of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, Two of Wands, Nine of Swords, King of Pentacles, the Devil. Ha, huh. right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> get to that in a minute nine of pentacles two of swords some of you guys are like okay how can i put this all right first of all i'll tell you the signs that have come out yeah virgo libra aries leo sagittarius capricorn taurus virgo yeah all right so some of you guys are working on what you're doing yeah but do you know what you're doing, Gemini? Let me tell you what you're doing. So you have at least at least two things that you're thinking of doing. At least. Yeah? Oh, okay. 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 Some of you have two things in career-wise, work-wise, that you're thinking of doing. Some of you, there's two people that you're considering working towards okay take it how it resonates yeah you know your story you know what you're going through better than i do yeah ace of wands two of wands some of you guys are going with who's more attractive some of you guys are going with who's more attractive to you but there's someone who's who all right there's somebody who's attractive who's set who you might have had sex with them already or this is somebody that you think about having sex with and it is like oh i can't wait kind of thing yeah there's someone there but some of you guys are in your head you're thinking eh, maybe i should be, be with somebody who's more stable the king of pentacles and then you're thinking the devil this is funny some of you guys are thinking shit am i the toxic one some of you guys are questioning yourself and do you know what if you are questioning yourself that i'm glad that you're doing that yeah do you know why self-reflection okay not a dig because especially if you're going through um if you're going through uh, a spiritual awakening if you are um, doing shadow work very important i've said this before in your readings it's not about them 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 but what about you what about you know what about yeah so if you're thinking shit am i toxic because i'm going for the one who who's more attractive more can probably you know let me try and keep it pg keep me satisfied yeah if you know what i mean yeah some of you guys are like stressing you like you got some of you guys do have two options but there's somebody more stable there do you know what i'm getting I'm getting that somebody's good they're probably not as attractive to whoever this this earth sign's probably not as attractive I, i've said this before and that's why it come up before in your readings the ah the fire sign and the earth sign the fire sign and the earth sign i've said this before having i gemini's who's been following my, my readings listen right now <laughs> okay so this is why it's come up because you're going to find yourself in a dilemma okay 
there's somebody who's who's more stable who's thinking more long term and there's somebody that you're just the, the connection the passion that's what you need that's what you want well when i say need that's what you feel like you need but i don't know if i don't know i mean right now like about a few weeks ago or a month ago i mentioned this in the reading i can't remember exactly how long but i said there's going to be a fire sign there's going to be an earth sign and now we've got to that point now gemini we've got to that point now okay and it's showing me more about this situation okay so we're looking a bit more in the future i don't know if you've met this person yet yeah either way this is actually this is giving me more insight into this so that we can break it down a little bit so let's just do that for now okay let's do that at the moment until it comes up next time yeah what are you looking for gemini ask yourself that first not about what this what are you looking for are you looking for something stable are you looking for some are you are you happy being single do you just want to have fun what is it that you want do you are you ready to have a committed relationship are you ready to put the, your energy into a relationship if you are i would say what the hell's that or oh, something on my, my screen if you are ready for a relationship i personally from what i'm seeing and feeling right now i'd go for the earth sign if you're looking for a fling if you're looking for something long serious i'm not saying all oh, fire signs are like that so don't even come at me i'm not saying that but what i'm picking up from this right now because i've mentioned this a few times in your readings now a couple of times and it keeps on coming up just reconfirming what i'm saying and feeling yeah earth sign fire sign if you want to fling if you want something fun if you want something not serious go for the fire sign aries leo sagittarius yeah if you want somebody who's not going to commit to you please go with them if you want someone who's going to commit to you Go for the um, the earth sign, okay? Now, this person may have more earth in their chart. They could be a water sign. But, ha like, for example, guys, for example, yeah? In my top three, I have two earth placements. But I'm a Pisces. You understand? So it could be like that. This person could very well. So some of you guys, you need to look into their birth chart. If you, like, do that work, okay? Because it's worth it. Like, just ask them. Some people may, may find it weird oh well whatever in it is your life <laughs> like you want to know but in my top three so i'm pisces sun Vir um taurus moon virgo rising yeah i come across like an earth sign i feel like an earth sign yeah but i'm a water sign so this person could be a water sign they could be a fire sign check the other placements especially in their venus their rising and their moon yeah check their placements if you see earth there if you see fire fire don't do it don't do it don't do it all right okay i love what i love when the reading continues like for it's like it's like um episodes or series okay let's let's what else have you got to say about this person Tell me about this earth sign. I want to know about this earth sign. Some of you guys are curious about the fire sign. You can hold on. Wheel of Fortune and the Five of Pentacles. Didn't that just come out? For Taurus. Some of you guys is a Taurus. It's a Taurus for some of you guys. I've just that just come out. High Priestess, Three of Cups. They may ask you what you want, Gemini. They may turn around and say, what is it you truly want? I feel like they're going to question you more than you question them, if I'm real with you. I'm, I'm going to be real with you. Some of you guys might come across as like one foot in, one foot out. Because I feel like some of you guys, a lot of you guys are going to lead towards a fire sign. You could... King of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. This person is truly going to love you. This, pers this person is truly going to love you. Yeah? Healing energy, love, like, this is the love that you deserve, that, that, that you've been wanting, but you've been looking in the wrong places. I'm guilty of that too, yeah, so... 
I've been guilty of that as well. This person's going to love you truly, but this person's going to really make you reflect on a lot of things. And I feel like this is like, this is somebody that you can let your guard down with. You don't have to go through the games with this person. You don't. And you know what? I do see you actually possibly having another spiritual awakening with this person as well, to be honest. Because how they're being, you're going to see what you've gone through in the past and you're going to be like, whoa, like it could have been like this if I chose somebody like that. But don't let the this the the looks of this person or their whoever this that that energy is, whoever that is, don't let that trick you, okay? This is almost like a test. No, this is not this is a test. Okay? This is a test. Because there's something long term here. I, and I, I really don't want you guys to miss out on that. Have you met your earth sign yet? Or if it's, if, it's, if it's a different sign and you check their placements, tell me what their placements are. But I'm picking up on earth energy. I've been picking it up for about a month now. So anyways, I'm going to leave it there. I wish you luck. Wish you luck, guys. Please like, share, subscribe. Nearly at 10,000. All right, guys. And I'll see you in your next reading. Bye, guys.